Good morning. Day 53? 52? Uh oh. I knew what day it was yesterday. Today's day 52. Because the schedule says days 53 and 54 are screw off days. Today's not a screw off day. We have to finish climbing up the owl. Hi, you've seen me. Look at that. This is how we're starting our day. Beautiful sunshine. It is late. I've been up for hours. Chatting with my wife. She's been backpacking for a week, so. We haven't been able to talk much. We were both in a place where we were both using our inReach to talk to each other for a while. It's very difficult to carry on a conversation like that. Whew. But yeah, starting our day with a couple little climbs here. Finish off the owl. Martha, it's just a small climb. We'll dip down a bit and then go back up, but it's not like this. This is a beast. I think it's the combination of coming through the Kilkenny the two days before and then hitting this climb over here. Because most of yesterday was very casual. It's just this final climb is, it's a beast. <laughs> it says it's two and a half miles, but I don't know. We've climbed some terrible mountains over the course of this trip. But this one, Well, I'll finish doing the work and then I will show you the view at the top because I know there's a couple of places where it's open. It was kind of raining when I came through last time. I was running from a thunderstorm. Hopefully that's most of the up. We gotta go down and then go up Martha over there. I know. Just kind of pointing the camera in the general direction of Martha. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. But yeah, we gotta go down a little bit to climb that. But, but again, I don't recall that being like the climb that we've been doing. I think I stopped in the right space. I think if I tried to come up here yesterday, I think I would have been sad. I don't know where I would have camped. Look, the viewpoint. You know me, I always go out to the viewpoint. I have a reputation for that. Ooh, look. I see a bunch of stuff on top of that one. That must be Mount Washington over there. Yeah, it's really hazy. I don't know if that's Canadian smoke or if it's moisture in there. Whew, boy, it's really nice up here compared to the climbing part though. I wasn't enjoying that, getting sweaty. It's too early in the day to be getting sweaty. I'm trying to get views for you. 
these trees are kind of in the way. Oh, now we can see Martha. I'm assuming that's Martha. Oh, it's a nice breeze here. Alright, I'm gonna need to navigate here. We got cheated out of so many views along the way due to weather. It just seems we should make an effort to appreciate it while we can. Um, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get out of here. I came in one way. I'm going out a different way. Oh. Yeah, once we get finished going up, then we'll go down. <laughs> uh oh, I feel lazy today. It's not good. Tomorrow I could be lazy. Today I can't be lazy. I got places to go. There could be a sandwich. Yeah, I remember doing this in the rain first thing in the morning. I wasn't very excited about these slabby things. Oh, that's right. There's a bunch of terrain. All right, I'm going to have to turn the camera off now. I'll probably see you on tomorrow. Well, we got down off of that at least. I don't know how I did this in the rain after being blown up the day before. I guess that's why I don't remember it. <laughs> I was wherever I was doing what I was doing. I did it, but I don't remember it being this hard. There was quite a bit of terrain there. I was laddering, doing all sorts of climbing down. Now it's going to be gentle, I'm sure. I don't remember, I guess. I remember being on top of Mount Martha. I should remember when that thunderstorm woke me up. It's about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. I heard rumbling thunder and I knew I was near the top of a mountain. It woke me up pretty fast. But this is beautiful. We're not going up, we're not going down. I love my flat trail. Yeah, we got some more down to do yet. Hopefully the trail on the other side of Martha won't be too wet. I seem to recall it was wet when it wasn't wet. Just slightly sweaty from the climbing. <laughs> well, that wasn't so bad. Get this work done in a couple of pitches. Pitches. And then uh, there's a lot of flat section for a climb. The view has grown in. I don't know, I've never gone over here. I don't know if there's a view over here, but I'm not going over there. <laughs> Pretty sure I recall last time deciding that this was probably the trail.
there's no signs up here. Well, there's the sign to tell you where you came from. But, but that's the most traveled trail. And I would think that would be the way people come up here so they don't have to climb up the way I did. Little bit wet. Gonna take a short break, see if I can dry out a little bit. And then we'll start toddling down. Hope it's not too squishy. Well, we've been toddling on this trail for quite a while now. 3.6 miles they said it was. So I'm hoping all this walking has gotten us somewhere. I'm ready for a turn. I'm bored with this thing. It's gently downhill for the most part. It's been a couple of rises, but mostly it's just one long descent. My feet are ready to change directions. They need some variety. Oh, yeah. Well, they didn't need that much variety. It's road walking after this anyways. It's not like there's anything exciting out there waiting for us. It's just good to make a turn. You know you're making progress. And again, something different. It's a lot of water out here. Somebody's been working on this trail. I could tell there was some clearing that was done. And the water bars have been cleared. I don't know if they heard we were coming. They wanted to spiff it up so they look good on camera. I don't think that's the case. I think they were just taking care of their trail. But it's been lovely to walk on. No deep grass. Uh, all right, well, we'll pop out on the road eventually, I hope. Okay, Mountain Road. Mostly downhill. A little up right here. I think it might be warm.
I was hoping one of the campsites would be empty. Stop and take a break. So far they've been occupied. We've hit the end of Cherry Mountain Road. Mountains. Mountains. They're all around us now. There's no escape without going over them. So I thought I'd say hey before we got out on the road because once we get out there you wouldn't be able to hear me. Today is just an adventure. First you start off in the mountains, then you're walking down this dirt road. Now we're going to walk the highway for a few miles. Stop for a sandwich hopefully. And then we're going to hit the Mount Washington Hotel, which is just a uh, bizarre experience in terms of hiking perhaps the strangest hike of all you can hike right through the hotel I kind of hike around the hotel but I've seen some people hike into the hotel and stop for food and drink I don't think so Maybe on a northbound hike, I might have clean clothes I could wear, but at this point, yeah, even backpackers don't want to backpack with me right now. No, I have no idea how bad it is. I can't really tell. I don't think I smell too bad, but every once in a while, I think, you know, might smell a little bad. All right, well, this is just going to be cars and campers and trucks and motorcycles, but it's beautiful. It's just really loud. I think we have co-op hikers. We've got hikers. We're gonna have to find out what their story is. But I think they're hikers. I'll turn this off, I like to respect people's privacy. All right, those were in fact co-op trail hikers. I forgot one guy's trail name already. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. The other guy was Loverboy. He headed northbound. Let's see able to give them some valuable information about not drinking the beaver water and where the good water starts. It's hot out here in the sun. This pavement's been cooking. But it's an air-conditioned store for the sandwich and the cold drinks. I don't know if it's that sign I can see there or if it's around the corner, but I know if I keep walking, I'll get there. And this is where it starts to become a little bit Strange, shall we say. Surreal, some have described it as. I just think it's strange. Fresh apple. 
Ooh, barely touched. It's tempting. Don't get enough fruit on trail. Hi. Nice to see you. Well, manicured tea boxes. But yeah. It's very relaxing. I have to decide if I want to take the shortcut through the hotel or loop around. It just seems strange to backpack your way through the middle of people's expensive resort. But on the other hand, it saves a few steps. Yeah, it's beautiful out here, but you gotta watch out for the drivers, because many of them are not used to seeing people, I think. This guy's probably seen people, but he might not care. We'll get out of his way. <laughs> we don't want him to us over. Oof, it's hot out here. Thankfully, there's a little breeze. All right. We'll pick this up somewhere on the other side of the hotel. I opted to go around the hotel. I know where to go if I go this way. If I go that way, I could get lost. I accidentally end up in a lounge with cheeseburgers and cold beer. And well, someone would, could probably get me a quote on a room for a night. And then it would all be over. I don't see anybody up there. I think we're safe. We're like in the middle of the first fairway, apparently. Yeah. It's a strange form of backpacking. It's pretty empty today. I think the last time I came through on a weekend or something, the course was much full, fuller of people. There's the bridge where I would want to come out of the hotel. I just don't know how to get there for sure without hitting a lounge. All right, I don't want to bore you with golf course. There's going to be some beautiful river and falls and stuff up ahead. I figured I better show you some of this pretty stuff. Old bridal path. I can't remember what the name of this river is. I want to say it's the Anamusic, but I think something else is the Anamusic, so. I don't know, they all run together. I don't think it's the Abenaki. We'll be up near the Abenaki later. But this is something else, I think. Anyway, it's beautiful. But yeah, there's a lot less people out here than the last time. 
Last time there were bicycles and people jogging. I had some people behind me before, but I think I shook them. I see a car parked on the other side of the river. The people, they can park over there. They don't have to walk anywhere. They can just go in the water. It's like cheating. But they're not backpackers, so they're not really cheating. I just think you should have to earn your backcountry adventure. But we'll see. I could be convinced to go car camping, I guess. With a cooler, steaks, beer. Yeah. No, I could do it. Look at all the people. Holy cow. Yeah, it's a strange way of life. Relaxing, enjoying yourself. I'm just not familiar with that. I'd like to try that sometime. It seems like it would be nice. Just hang out and splash in the water. That was pretty. There's a prettier one up ahead, I think. There's several pretty ones up ahead. I'll pull you out again. Pretty neat spot. Not sure how to get down there from this side. We have to start from way down here somewhere. Ah. My buddy said he was going to come here and go swimming today. I don't know if he was here or not. If he was here, we missed him. So we will continue on in our quest. Trying to figure out where we're supposed to go next. They moved the trail from the last time that I did it. So I'm not entirely sure where I'm going, but, but I've got a vague idea and we're gonna see how that goes. Yeah, this new route might be a little bit out of the way, but the old route was like an untended snowmobile trail. It's grassy and boggy. And it wasn't really a hiking trail in any way. This is like a biking trail or something, I think. I'm not sure. I think it turns into a road pretty soon. I'm not sure what the difference is. This seems like a road, but at some point it officially becomes a road instead of trail. But that isn't the important thing. The important thing is, is that it's much easier and less scary. I seem to remember plunging into the wilderness and having to look at my GPS frequently to verify that what I was doing was actually following something that might have been a trail at some point. Oh, I saw a bunny earlier. He didn't see me for a while. He was just standing there. Lady told me she saw a moose yesterday, but 
I didn't see the moose. Oh man, you can feel the humidity building. I have a feeling it's gonna rain. I was really kind of hoping to maybe get to camp and put a roof up before it rains, but in the mountains, I can sneak up on you. Well, I just thought I'd show you some of this beautiful reroute because really, people who went the old route, they know this is easy compared to the old day. The kids of today, they won't know what we used to have to go through. All right, I gotta go. I don't know if that was the route we were supposed to take. Maybe. It seemed pretty direct. I thought we were gonna go farther out of the way. But I'm pretty sure this is where we wanted to be. If we were going to continue on up the trail, we would go through this parking lot here pick up Edmund's path heading up towards Eisenhower we're gonna go someplace else I will show you once we get there but I have to blindfold you between here and there because whew, can't go giving away my buddy's secrets I'm pretty sure this isn't a secret but he says he's mapped it out and it's legal so I like that Legal camping is always better. So I will pick this up when I get to camp. Whew. We might beat that rain. Hey. C-52 is ending rapidly. My buddy's been out doing trail magic. So he brought out his grill. He's been making me burgers and hot dogs. I had in a few beers. I guess we're gonna go mountain climbing tomorrow. <laughs> Tonight, we're living like kings. There's been a little bit of rain, but not much. So yeah, that's day 52. I guess I can show you a little bit of the I don't want to give away too many secrets. But yeah, I think the plan is tomorrow we're going to go up and over into the dry river. See if we can get across the river. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, I imagine we're probably going to have to go camp up at the shelter. Because I think he really likes the shelter. So, <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, we're going to hang out there in the wilderness for a few days. He'll hike back out this way, I'll head out the other way. So we'll see you out there tomorrow. Sounds like it should be a pretty good day, hopefully. Maybe some clouds, but... This is when the views really are good, so you hope you get some good weather. I'll see you out there.